Welcome to the show. This is Tea Time on Plus TV Africa, where we give an in-depth analysis on the biggest entertainment stories. I am a fellow Ocean Care, and I'm here with Benny Ak and Nimi Dekombi. What's good, guys? What's up? What's up? I'm right. I'm right. I'm right. How was your night? Uh, it was awesome. Yeah, and the yes, morning. It was my birthday. The morning has been a little bit eaten, right? <laughs> the morning is fine for me. Yeah, but we still true. Yeah, no yaw about that one. All right. So, um, the first story for the day is um, Perizzi has been accused of rape. And um, he has been raped by a Daffy Blanco who alleges that um, a UK based Nigerian singer who called out popular singer Perizzi, accusing him of rape and extortion. Blanco posted on her Instagram handle at Daffy Blanco that she contracted Perizzi to write her hit songs, but it went beyond business by taking advantage of her. She said that a drunk Perizzi trailed her to a hotel room where she lodged and forced himself on her. She also alleged that, the contact, that she contacted a lawyer who decided to settle the case outside the court. Now. This is all drama, drama, drama for Perizzi. Um, we can recall, um, I think, earlier this month King when King Patrick came out to say that he's not fulfilling the, his end of their deal when he signed him to Golden Boy Record. And he also made some serious allegations like um, he's a murderer and um, he's a cultist and stuff like that. So all this just kind of like throws light on what King Patrick said earlier. So I don't know, what's your take on this one? Yeah, I'll just say basically that I hope this is not another stunt because, especially because a lot of people have been saying that whenever it comes to, stunt. I hope that it's not a publicity, a publicity stunt. stunt. Because whenever it comes to the DMW, there have been so many issues that have happened, like in the past, where somebody has dragged them and they've been in the news. I mean, look at the Paris Chioma, the video scandal. At the end of the day, what happened afterwards? It just feels like they are, it, it, something happens there in the news for a very long time. I think what are we, this month, eh, we've been seeing so many stories about Peruzzi, Peruzzi versus King Patrick, Peruzzi versus Davido and Chioma, and then now Peruzzi versus you know Daffy Planco. I hope that I don't know. I don't know much about you know this case. But I hope it's not a publicity stunt, basically. Well, I, I don't know what you think about it as a publicity stunt. Um, Paris is stepped on toes, unfortunately, and probably some of these toes he stepped on were people who were protecting him from all the relations that are happening right now. Okay. Uh, that you don't, that's, that's common. You don't, you don't offend people who offend you. You don't offend people who have put you on the pedestal to be seen for your craft. And that is what Perez did. Mm -hmm. uh, um, not necessarily for, for Patrick right now. There are all the people Perez is offended in the industry. And amazingly, I just found out that this lady is not actually the first person coming out with a rape accusation mm -hmm. on Peruzzi. Mm -hmm. All right. So, so worse, probably, worse. probably, there, I'm talking about the lady's name now. There's another lady somewhere, somewhere in Abuja. Mm -hmm. All right. And this, this ladies all the way in the UK in London yeah. you know and so and there's an audio where Paris was actually yeah, yeah, begging uh, I, this I, supposed I lady you know what that um okay. he didn't he didn't mean to he didn't mean to harm her he didn't mean to yeah. hurt her and so she's not speaking out of um, maybe like a stunt. Yeah. She feels aggrieved, and money was involved. Fifty million naira. Yeah, but the thing you is, know. Perizzi has reacted, and Perizzi was saying that money is what is making her, you know, see all those things. Yeah, and she, she took his, that he, was, he took he her money. Stunt. She didn't. He didn't really deny the fact that the way yeah. he, the, what he tweeted, the way it seemed was like as if you know, she was doing it because of money and publicity. That, no, that but was Perizzi, took, was Perizzi took money from her. Yeah, that is an accusation. Yes. But he's saying that she's doing this for fame. But Perizzi didn't money. deny the fact that what I he, yeah, he didn't also, deny it. Didn't so you know, and so I think it. it's quite unfortunate. Perizzi is talented, is gifted, but at the same time, I think there's some things that surpasses your gift and your talent, and that mm -hmm. is character. Mm -hmm. You know, and for his record label number one, um, it's the matter is still in the court as it is, and then having a rape accusation against you, it's it's serious, and even more the charges, more more that more that allegations. Yes, because she also she also, she she also you know, accused him. More allegations and things he you know. said about and things he said about David Doe as yes. well. So. See, well, if this if the, well, what I would say is if this thing is true. Because of the fact that Perizzi is a superstar and is a celebrity, he might have some kind of protection. But I hope that it doesn't. From and I the hope law? That no. Not if, just from the law, from powerful can, if, people if, if that, those allegations, that If those allegations with, can be substantiated, who are the powerful people that David That's what I'm saying. That I hope that it if goes these allegations, that wins. If these allegations can come with evidences and it can be substantiated, mm -hmm. there's no, nobody powerful enough, I mean, to protect him from this. He will have yeah. to face it as it is, you know. So I think the airline I starts speaking up and not keep quiet, the better it becomes for him because already it's sad enough for an artist not to have your songs on digital streams. None of Perusia's songs right now exist on any digital stream. 
So yeah. it's 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 a tough beginning of the year for Perizzi as an artist. Yeah. And this is what you get when you mess up with people you're not supposed to mess up with. Are you talking about still King Patrick? Yes. Or you're saying King Patrick and other no, people um, and other people. I think I think basically all of this is still allegations and it's still alleged. Yeah, so let the um, he, she said they already settled out of court. Their lawyers sat down together. And Who the, the lady? To, yes. Oh that really? They settled this amicably. But what she's asking for is her money now. That is either yes. you give me my songs or you give, or me, you my give money. me back my 15 yeah. million naira. So do the right thing before I come out with more juicy details. But yeah. I'm hoping that Perizzi doesn't do the right thing so that we can have more juicy details to talk about. That's my own personal opinion. And um, basically, I think Perizzi also, uh, there's no smoke without fire. Yeah, exactly. True. So um, if people keep coming out to say this certain things about you, then you need to check your character. You need to check what's going on with you. And for the DMW crew, I don't know why they're always surrounded with controversies so many and controversies. so much negative, negativity around so them. Much. So I think reduce your circle. That's the first thing I think a lot of celebrities should do. Mm -hmm. Have a small circle. Have the real ones around you, not people that bring you trouble. All and the also, time. don't do things that would make people come out. Don't do things like raping people or, or that stuff. And fame doesn't give you a position of power. <laughs> don't do stuff like that. Things, you, know, that's, so. you know what I'm saying? Like, don't do things like raping, like raping people. You know, unfortunately, I think that is what you get when you have different kind of people in your crew. You can't vouch for people's character. Yeah, you can vouch for yourself, but mm -hmm. not for other people. And yeah. David doing himself might be might be an innocent guy. But I you know, David but had unfortunately, um, controversies like that. Um, not, well, not, not, not rape, not, not rape, you know. Oh yeah, no, David was, he was, he was quite, he was quite rascal in his younger yes. days, you know. Yeah, what but man? I think he's all better now. Now that he's getting married, and um, I think he's, he's trying to improve his character, mm -hmm. and, and, and I commend them for that. It's a lot calmer now. And so let's just move on to the next story. So um, this is from Tony Abraham, who said, "Everyone has a past. Stop using it to judge them." The screen goddess wrote on her Instagram page, everyone has a past, some more intense than others. Stop using their past to judge them. Everyone has done something they are not proud of. So when people want to change, support them and help them grow. Stop judging, she wrote. Hasn't she spoken the truth? Well, I think for me, I think that But some people would say a leopard can never change its spots. In what sense? Oh, yes. that because yeah, if she did something in the change. past, no, that is not true at all. I've seen I people. Some people would say yeah, that. I know that people would say that, but I've seen people change. I've seen people. I mean, if you want to talk about change, I'll talk about myself. I'll talk about I've myself seen, too. Exactly. There's so many people who change, and there's so many people who evolve. There's so many people who grow. Mm. You know. So I, I, I feel like what she said was very, very spot on. And Nigerians can be very, very judgmental very very judgmental and hypocritical sometimes mm. when somebody comes out especially maybe because she's a celebrity and somebody comes out to say okay this is the life i live because what she's talking about is the fact that mm. she come she spoke up a she few years ago that she all. used to use drugs, drugs and she had a drug problem mm. and then there, were, there was a lot of backlash with people mm. you know and she has been trolled a mm. lot you know on social media with because of her ex-husband and then so many things that happened Who's her ex-husband uh, Adeni Johnson. Oh, okay. Johnson. Yeah. Yes, so exactly. because of that, also she has been in the social media um, in a very negative light. So I can understand where she's coming from when she says that so people should stop judging. Every single one of us, we have skeletons in our cupboard. We have done things that we are not no, so I don't proud. Have skeletons. Mm. We have done things that we are not so <laughs> proud of, <laughs> but we have grown and we have evolved and we have changed and we have learned our lessons. So I, I don't have skeletons, but I've done things I'm not proud of. So uh, that I is skeleton in your cupboard. No, because the skeleton is out there. Like these are things I've apologized for, and the people mm -hmm. involved have forgiven me. And sure, I've moved it's, past it's, that. It's, it's a it's a cycle. Life is a cycle. I mean. The good, the bad, the ugly, the beautiful, they are all the things that bring balance to life. Your past, your not so good past, um, your present, whatever it is right now, and your future. Those are all the cycles, all the elements, the, the um, what's the word now? Those are all the abstracts of life. You know, so you can't, you can't, you can't have one and not have the other one. Your past, it's necessary. Your future is necessary. Your present is necessary. And so for me, I think the issue here would be understanding what the past really is. Um, the mistakes you made from your personal experiences, learning from those mistakes, lessons yeah. learned, and then not using your own past because many people are enemies to themselves because of their past, not letting go of their own past by themselves. Yeah. And not necessary because people are saying something about your past. It's okay. 
People can hold your hold on to your past against you. That is their cup of tea. But have you let go of your own past? Mm -hmm. And so I, I, I hear Tony when she's talking, but again, I feel she's not totally forgiving herself or let go of her past. Mm -hmm. And so the past should not be used as a hammock with which you used to, 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 to destroy the now and well, the present. But rather, a springboard. If, if you, your past you use as a springboard to, to better your now and have a great future, then let the whole world come out and say anything they want to say about your past. It's their business. And just live your life and, and be about it. Yeah, but it's not no, easy, it's, it's, to just yeah, exactly. Your life. When it's people so keep on, yes, it is. When yes, people it is. keep on picking on, um, on on old wounds, it's they're not that easy people. to just ignore. The, it's not people, that easy to pretend that these how, are Who are they to you? Who are they in it's your life? It's not that easy. You know what? So guess what? So I might shows. just be tired. She's had sleepless nights, and then mm -hmm. she gets on set, and people will say, "Ah, you on drugs again? Are you high?" You know, unfortunately, unfortunately, that's not like that. So even if you've forgiven yourself, you see people. People keep bringing it bringing up all the time. That, and, and it's it's, it's not a fact fair. of life. People will use what they know against you. Against you. <laughs> And so would you not because of Anna say, you know what, I mean, I'm not going to leave. You got to keep no, no, leaving. No, 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 she's leaving. It's that's a why she's saying that's that's people, need to, people need to realize this, that people need to stop judging people by things they've No, but they cannot before. stop because you know why? Because they have miseries in their life. And so they want to identify with that part of your own misery. To so are you going to be okay misery. with people coming up with your past all the time? Because I know you have your past. People and I do, know, but I yeah, really don't care. You really don't care, but not everybody can but handle it the way you don't care. You know, because at the end of the day, it's a fact of life. People, many people are not happy about their lives. Mm -hmm. And so whatever part of your life they know is negative that you've let go of, they always hold on to that mm. part. Have you not realized how people will believe it, anything about you once it's negative? True. That's true. <laughs> but just, just, make, just make success out there. They don't want to talk about it, but let it be said, oh, they'll be looking for reasons oh, yeah. why your let success me say, oh, is negative. Something, something evil will happen to you. Oh, they're going to sing it out loud, you know, like the entire choral will do. So true. it's a fact of life. We can't help it. You know, so we can't we can't live our life um, minding what people are going to say about you because they will say stuff. Yeah. All right. Yeah. So I think we really have to go on the break. So um, we will be right back on Tea Time. Stay with us. Welcome to Tea Time on Plus TV Africa, where we bring you the biggest entertainment stories and, of course, analyze them for you. You can have both parents and still. End up as a useless child. I decide every day. <laughs> <laughs> Most times, I worry more about where I'm coming from mm -hmm. and where I am now, wow. and that determines my next step. Why are you sounding like an Alibaba? Alibaba. Now? Oh, yeah. 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 Africa, we're feeling good. No time to dull. Everybody feeling alright. Still make music and people are still buying. Sometimes they look myself minimal. Are you? music is for mature-minded people. That got DM sometimes from Malawi. Like, sleeping early. Sleeping early. Welcome back to the most entertaining show on the planet, and this is still Tea Time on Plus TV Africa. Well, Bonoboy is in the news again, and um, I think another person has an opinion on why he didn't win the Grammy, who is Shade Ladipo, a media personality. Shade Ladipo does not agree, and she addressed it in a video. In the video shared on Instagram, Shade Ladipo said that even Bonan knows that. It's an honor to be nominated in the same category as the legend, legendary Angelic Kijo. She also stated that it takes more than two albums and four touring the U.S. to win the Grammy. Mm. So I think um, there are a lot of things she pointed out here. She yeah. said um, it's touring is full. That is, yeah. it's not real. Like Exactly. The, that was like, for me, I felt like that was like the highlight of her post. Exactly. Because that then, was like shade. And then saying that um, Angelic Kijo is if fella Anikola Pokuti the late Felani Kulapo Kuti mm. was still alive, that he would um, be Angelic Kijo's age mate, and that's the category that no, I Fela she would meant be. Age mate. No, 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 no. She I said she that. She class, said like they have the same like, like age, class, like, same yeah, impact. the same age bracket, yeah. same yeah. class, same yeah. everything, same impact, same yeah, same, impact, same yeah. thing yeah. they've done for the music industry. Mm -hmm. And yes, that yes. is totally true because true. Um, if you really want to look at it from achievement, obviously, Bonner Boy doesn't stand a chance when it comes to Angelic Kijo yeah. in terms of impact in the music industry, in terms of impact across 
the globe with your music, Bonner Boy Doesn't Cut It. But it doesn't change the fact that he had a good out album. And I pointed out that um, <laughs> earlier that even though while judging the winners of the Grammy, they would have looked at it from the aspect that I think his previous album had Angelic Kijo sampled the Wumble 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 Wumble. Yeah, his previous sampled, album had then he now featured Angelic Kijo again. Yeah, so tracks. obviously, she's one of his musical influences. Mm -hmm. So it's not going to be so hard to infuse that into why they would actually give yeah. their award to. Um, Angelic Kijo, and of course, Angelic Kijo is deserving of yeah, the award, regardless of how you want to look at it. But people having opinions is just my problem. Like, can we just move past this? Okay, he lost the award to Angelic Kijo. We know she's a legend, but why does everyone want to have an opinion right now? Like, before when he was nominated, why were you not coming out to say all of this that oh, Bonner Boy can't win? And let's see you as somebody who is prophesying, but or somebody who has seen the future, but don't be coming out now. That is lost. It makes it look like it's from a bitter place, if you ask me. Personally, I'm tired of the obsession with the Grammys. I'm tired of the obsession. Okay, Bonner Boy did not win the Grammy. Okay, can we move on now? I'm tired of different people having different opinions. Okay, this is why Bonner Boy didn't win the Grammy. Oh, I wish Bonner Boy had won the Grammy. He did not get the Grammy. Let us focus on our own award show and making our own award show something that younger artists already established artists can look forward to. I feel like sometimes you can be very, very obsessed with um, international awards. I understand it. Mm. But I feel like we should not really be too obsessed because, you know, when Lion Arts 2 did not make the Oscars list, mm. everybody was in their mouth, everybody was frothing at their mouth. Why didn't, I mean, come on, please. Let's just focus on making our own award show standard. Let's bring the standard up so that it can be an, uh, a uh, an award that people look forward to. And if they have that award, they feel like, okay, yeah, I kind of got but Bonner Boy once said in an interview with Ibuka that um, he thinks international awards are more credible because you know you deserve the award. Yeah, we can make it. our own award shoes more credible. Um, let me, sorry, let me, let me, let me, let me dis disagree with you a little bit on that. You're talking about the Grammys. The Grammys is the biggest, in fact, it's uh. the world-renowned music award in the entire world. So there's, there's no show, there's no award we can possibly put together. As, 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 as a country, Nigeria, that's going to surpass the Grammys. It's I'm not, not possible. To, I'm that not is, to that agree is, with you. No, no, the Grammy. The, the, the gra what is the another, Grammy? Let's define what the we have Grammy another is. another continent, Asia. Do you know the Asian music? The Grammy they is, no, listen, the Grammy is the world. You just, you just referred to a continent. Huh. The Grammy is the entire continent, the seven continents. Yes. Don't you get it? How many so times? Africa can Grammy, come together. Many, no, listen. Many, let me, let me, let me, let me make my point. Let me make my point. Oh, Africa can come together. We have Cora. Is, is there going to be any nomination to the people in other continents in that, in that, in that award mm. for in Cora? Mm. The Grammy has every continent covered. That is the biggest award show in the entire world. I feel like the Grammy so it is, is the biggest deal. It is, it is a big deal. <laughs> now, my issue is people should understand this. I mean, and that category was not, like we said yesterday, it's not Afrobeat. It's, mm. it's the world. It's the world. All right. And globally, Angeli Kijo is more recognized than Bonner Boy is. Is Bonner doing a fantastic job? Yes. And I agree with Shadi on a few things she pointed out, why she brought out this argument, this contemplation. Bonner has just two albums, right? Mm. And he's just touring. Angela Kill has, and, but she said she has so body. Touring. She has body of works yeah, beyond Bonner Boy. Huge. You know, and so there, there's no ground for comparison. I think I feel a little bit insulted on behalf of Angela Kijo, where we're comparing Angela Kijo and Bonner Boy. There's no grounds for there's comparison. No, there's no comparison. You know, so let's be, let's be happy for Bonner Boy. That nomination was for recognition. That is a big deal for Bonner Boy. Yeah. But I'm not going you know, to let go of the full touring. So who thinks that all these tours that they go for in the United States of America, e Europe tour, and all of that, that it's all fake? Well, well what, I, what I've heard about a few of those tours by some artists that actually, for some of them, they're like, they go to tours in like very public pub, pubs, like bars, mm. you know, and it's all part of a tour, it's touring. <laughs> so what she, what Shaving means by that, I, I don't know if, if Bonner has any of those, but a few of other artists we know, they don't necessarily go sell out stadiums in those countries. They yeah, go, they, go, they sing in private gigs and all that stuff. Yeah, it's true. all part of touring. And they never get to show us those tours. Mm. So it's one or two that is major, they show. Mm. But you're telling me you're touring um, Europe, you mentioned the cities in Europe, and I don't get to see all of those cities you're sure. touring in Europe. Mm. 
So yeah. she's not totally wrong. She's and not totally wrong about that. Stadiums. Yeah. Before you can say, okay, I'm touring different. Okay, cities. so I think we should stop being lied to and. Um, Artists, please, if you're just doing small gigs, just put it out there that you're having small gigs in other parts of the world and not call it a tour. So let's move on to the final story. If you're fine, I've sent, say, Solomon Bucci as he dumps Beverly Naya. Hmm. I don't think this story is like a very, very serious story. Yeah, I think it was a joke. No, but I think it was, it was what, he, what he said, it was what he said, that he's not available, and so if you're fine, mm. and you have money... And you have money. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you, know, you know he's the kind of guy that is always saying that you would like to marry a rich person, so he's always like, you want and to marry a rich And then I think he's been liking um, Beverly Nye's pictures. It's not like they were official dating. For they are not <laughs> I don't think she even knows him. Yeah, exactly. I don't think she knows him personally. So he's just moving it's just, it's just, it's it's just, it's just He's trying like, to be a gigolo. So yeah. Yeah, so yeah, exactly we can't, we can't take it seriously. But I, I take, I take, amazing what he said yesterday. I met a friend of mine and I were out on dinner yesterday, and he showed me a text a girl sent to him saying, "Since you're not, since you don't have my time, can you introduce me to some of your friends that are good looking, they have money, and drive good cars?" Mm -hmm. Then my friend responded, "I wish I could get that that chat out of my phone." My friend responded and said, "All my friends are good looking, they have money, and they drive good cars, mm -hmm. but." They're looking also for beautiful girls that have money and drive beautiful cars. Mm. That you should be the standard of your expectation. True Whatever that. it is you expect from someone, then be that standard. So, Bucci, are you meeting up to standard of what you're searching for? That's a question. That's actually that's Bucci's, food for talks that's for you. What he just said is Bucci's message. <laughs> that he's already that kind of person. So yeah, he's I know. looking I'm for somebody it, that yeah. would match up. Yeah, but I'm asking that. him that. Is he actually meeting up to standard, or is he, he just that's saying? That's what Okay, maybe, maybe. <laughs> Do you understand? <laughs> yeah. He actually needs to meet up to standard and yeah. not just say. So let's see what you're doing and stop jumping on all of this, because, man, we really I don't want to be talking about it. Now. All right, so it's time for us to take a bow on today's episode of Tea Time. Enjoy the rest of your day. But remember, you can catch up on this episode and all our exclusive contents by subscribing to our YouTube channel at Plus TV Africa. You can also watch Tea Time on Auto TV and in London on Ben Television. My thank you as always goes to my co-anchors Benny and Nimi for their amazing contributions. And the entire production team, I am Ifeo Lua, saying thank you for watching and see you in a bit.